Onion Carver X Onion is a leading brand when it comes to electric surfboards. Thanks to its world-class quality and long-lasting durability, you can prove why. One of the best-selling Onion products is Carver X. It is the ideal go-to option for riders up to 250 pounds 115 kilograms, and to enjoy the feeling of gliding above all waters or who aim for competition and maximum speeds. The Carver X package comes with two batteries and chargers, wireless control, and accessories. Designed with two jets and two batteries, the new Onion Carver X electric surfboard doubles the power of the traditional Carver. Besides that, Onion is a trusted and well-renowned company that produces safe and high-quality electric surfboards perfect for everyday use. Most of the company's materials are lightweight, chemical-resistant, and corrosion-resistant. Thus, you can guarantee that this surfboard can last for many years. The Carver X's dual-jet propulsion system offers 10,000 watts of power, and the Carver X is the ideal go-to option for riders looking to enjoy the amazing sensation of gliding above the waters at maximum speeds. The board will easily withstand a rider of 85 to 100 kilograms and more, while allowing it to develop a maximum speed. The thoughtful shape of the case ensures maneuverability, even at high speeds, and the modern design makes communication antennas with the remote control unit almost invisible. Its battery life is 40 minutes when riding at mixed speeds. According to the manufacturer, Carver X can accommodate up to 100 kilograms, making it suitable for all riders. Staying upright on this surfboard does not require too much strength and coordination since it is firm enough to keep you comfortable and stable throughout your practice or competition. Although Carver X comes with heavy-duty materials, it does not seem to compromise comfort. If you don't know yet, this board is easy to maneuver, control, and balance. Cruising around the most stubborn water will not be a problem, thanks to its dual-core brushless electric motor and high-efficiency axial water pump. Himiko Water Bus Himiko is a completely unique water bus with its streamline-shaped body with 3D windows. A Himiko River Bus does not look like a typical boat, but is instead designed like a futuristic-looking spacecraft. Himiko is the first futuristic vessel produced by anime master Leje Matsumoto. Mr. Matsumoto designed based on its concepts, the image of a teardrop, and the ship appealing to children. During the daytime, the futuristic ship runs through old Edo and modern Tokyo while enjoying the 360-degree panoramic view. It runs as a direct line from Azumabashi Bridge in Asakusa to Odabai Seaside Park and back via Toyuso. The futuristic water bus started running between Asakusa and Odabai in Tokyo on March 16, 2004. The streamlined metallic silver body is inspired by a spaceship. Himiko river buses are themselves a tourist attraction due to their unique design. In addition, these boats have panoramic roofs, which offer a good view of the city. At night, the floor panels are lit up to emphasize the ship's sophisticated design. Himiko is named after Queen Himiko, who is the first recognized independent lady in Japanese history. Many water buses also travel along the Sumida River, one of the city's most famous rivers. The river bus operates in the Sumida River Line, which takes travelers from Asakusa to Hamariku Garden and then a bit further to Odabai. The second Odabai Lane travels from Hinode to Odabai Seaside Park. The many bridges that span the river have each been designed differently. Boats along the river provide access to Asakusa and Regoku. Himiko measures 33 by 8 meters and has a displacement of 114 tons. Turnor Planet Solar This fully solar-powered catamaran designed by Craig Looms is absolutely amazing. Despite looking like it belongs to an environmentally conscious supervillain, engineers, scientists, and researchers from across the globe have been involved in its creation, making it a truly global venture aimed at tackling the major problem plaguing the marine sector. With 127 horsepower, average speeds of 5 knots, and an attached filtering net that collects and disposes of unwanted marine pollution, it really is an impressive creation that will hopefully inspire more and more boat manufacturers to go solar. Containing the Turinor is a little bit special, says skipper Gerard de Beauville. You have to use a lot of foresight, constantly checking the weather and choosing your speed to coincide with the sun. You must always think well in advance. It is different from other boats, more interesting, he says. The idea of a solar ship operating in marine waters was first thought of by Swiss engineer Raphael Jamjan in the mid-2000s. Raphael's conceiving of a solar-powered boat was centered on the lines of the plots created by famous sci-fi author Jules Verne. But while the dream was quite strong, 
it started to actualize only in the late 2000s when like-minded collaborators entered into the venture and actually started the development stages for the largest solar boat ever. Removable parts allow the vessel to supply a total of 516 meters squared flat photovoltaics positioned directly at the sun, sending power back to six blocks of lithium-ion batteries. In addition, engineers have effectively optimized the energy collection system and also the aerodynamics, with the propulsion and light carbon framework providing a durable structure that will endure the long transatlantic route. But Turner's journey did not end with its circumnavigation of the world. Its emission-free propulsion gives the scientific community a rare opportunity to conduct important deepwater research. As Ms. Bros de Pochardon says, once the potential of solar power has been demonstrated, the boat needed another purpose. Equipped with a trawling filtering net scoop, the boat also can collect up to 8 tons of marine pollution as it sails across the ocean, achieving average speeds of 5 knots (9.25 kilometers per hour). The 6-meter wide craft generates 127 horsepower (93.5 kilowatts) from the plethora of installed solar panels providing a maximum of 120 kilowatts. To be able to spend several months studying the whole length of the stream in such a boat is unique, says Professor Martin Beniston, Chair for Climate Change at the University. Iguana Pro Interceptor Rib This amphibious model can land anywhere in soft sand, rocks and mud. Built primarily as a boat, the Interceptor reaches speeds of 50 knots. The Interceptor is the perfect vessel for law enforcement defense, homeland security, and surveillance. The Iguana Pro Rider is that ninth addition to the Iguana Yachts lineup. It's a civilian speedboat based on the Special Ops Rib Iguana Pro Interceptor, so it should deliver the same incredible combination of efficiency and insane performance, with added comfort and more than a sliver of luxury. With 12 years of approved reliability, Iguana Pro has just sold two Interceptors to the U.S. Navy. The boats are being delivered and they foreshadow a larger order from the U.S. Army. Coming as a platform, the Interceptor can be adapted to multiple use cases. The Pro Rider could be if you're in the market for such a thing, the perfect vacation boat for the perfect vacation. A model made for high-speed interceptions, extractions, surveillance and logical operations. With expertise in electronics, mechanics, hydraulics, Research Unit provides specific studies to ensure the feasibility and performance of fully customized projects. Equipped with twin 450 horsepower engines, this in-development iguana will reach speeds that other amphibious boats have never reached before. A reinforced tube and hull, as well as a reinforced mobility system, a Raptor-inspired paint scheme, and all-black military design indicate the seriousness and aggressive stance of this new extreme build. The driver's and passenger seats are Ullman seats, designed to counter the impact of high speeds. In addition to many other custom projects, the Iguana Design Department has completed a project for a superyacht client and produced an Iguana yacht to serve as a tender vessel. Based on the IG Pro Interceptor rib vessel in the Iguana Pro line, the boat is designed for speed and all-terrain, rugged performance. Zip Fastener Ship The ship was designed by Japanese artist Yasuhiro Suzuki, who's known for drawing inspiration from everyday objects. The artist got the idea for the impressively unusual ship design while flying above Tokyo Bay on an airplane. This is how the inspiration to create Zip Fastener Ship, literally a boat shaped like a rack. It's a brilliant concept because when the ships sail, they leave a trail that opens the waters, and its shape is very similar to that of a zipper. The ship is made of a chrome-colored body, bridge and puller just like a regular zipper. Interestingly enough, the Zumida River where the zip fastener trailed about was the border between the ancient provinces of Masashi and Shimusa. Thus, this large zip fastener perfectly conveys the history and is reminiscent of the historical divide. He created what could be best described as a giant zipper-shaped ship called the Zip Fastener Ship. Due to the recent corona storm, the Zumida River has been visited by unprecedented silence on the surface of the water. Suzuki says it was not until this situation that he noticed the now that appeared on the surface of the river. Reads the page for the event of the Zip Fastener ship journey. If you look at the gently flowing Sumida River, you can see the swaying water that changes its shape due to the splash of waves that the ship has set up on the sparkling water surface that reflects the sky. As the Fastener ship sails, we will bring out and convey the various expressions of water that lurks around us.